How are you guys doing tonight? Yeah. Sounded enthusiastic, thank you. Uh, anyone over 30 here? Yeah. Great, great. Did your body betray you like mine did? Yeah. Yeah, so I always had a fast metabolism growing up. And like, I had a natural default V. <laughs> and it all of a sudden, like I turned 30 and life was just like, fuck you, now it's a you. <laughs> like, what is this shit? Like I used to be able to eat a burrito like a motherfucker. And like, God, no, that's gonna happen now. I'm just like, I'm hi I've learned the art of hiding your fat. That's why I wear a fucking hoodie. <laughs> I'm just hiding it. There's a fucking huge pouch under this. It's disgusting. I'm like a skinny fat ass. It's the weirdest thing in the world. Like my face is puffing up. Like people think, like they're like, you were skinny and like it was weird then. Now you're like puffy and it's weird now too. And it's like terrible. <laughs> so I'm fat, skinny, and bald. It's a great fucking time of life. <laughs> but um, so Tinder's the theme of the night. Um, and I'm gonna talk about Tinder too. She said Times Square, I like that. But have you ever thought about applying the rules of Tinder in real life? Like going to a bar and be like, we're gonna set up two lines over here. On your left, I don't like you. On your right, I do like you. And that's it. And like imagine just pulling people out and be like, okay, no, you, you get in this line, you get in that line. It's the dumbest fucking concept in the world. And like it never works out. Has anyone here ever actually met on Tinder? Woo! <laughs> right. Thank you for proving my point. Like literally, like love stories are just done now. It's like, oh well how'd you meet? Well I was taking a shit and I swiped right. <laughs> Come sit on my knee, let me tell you how grandma and grandpa met. <laughs> like, literally, I was shitting out Chipotle and I swiped right and I like, oh, here we are today. <laughs> Wait, so you guys really met on Tinder? Whoever was wooing over there? Yeah, we're getting married. Get the fuck out. <laughs> wow. I paid them to be here. <laughs> really? You're getting married? When are you getting married? July. I'm sorry. July, uh, July what? My birthday's in July. Sixth. Not that you fucking care, but... <laughs> July 6th? Six. Great. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> no, but Tinder's weird, because, I mean, that's great for you guys, because usually Tinder's like a hookup thing. Has anyone hooked up on Tinder? Yeah! Oh! Now we see the real fucking basis of Tinder. Is to get your dick wet or your vagina pumped. So... Did you wear a condom at least before you went and met up with them? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, can that voice? <laughs> Have you worn a condom before? When you... That's a girl saying that. Everyone, Caitlyn Jenner is here. <laughs> Thank you for being here tonight, we appreciate it. <laughs> oh my god. That was odd. Um, okay. So. Women who wear a condom, do, do you get like fucking fucked up when you go to buy condoms? Like, do you feel weird when you go to buy condoms? Because I do. No comment. Okay. <laughs> Buying a condom is like when I was like 16, it was like the scariest fucking thing in the world. And then self checkout happened. And it was like the best fucking thing in the world. And you're like, condoms? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Milk condoms. And like, you don't have to have that awkward interaction. Like, <laughs> it's just weird. Like, I'd literally like buy them and be like, it's for a friend. <laughs> like, it's the one time, like, you're not proud of having sex. And it's not for me. <laughs> like, I'd actually literally rather buy tampons. <laughs> like, it's, it's just better. But, um, so anyway, let's end this off on a fart joke. <laughs> It's not even really a joke, it's just actually something that happened and it was really embarrassing and traumatized me and I'd like to share it all with you tonight. So, I farted into someone. I didn't fart on someone, I farted into them. Like part of my body, my spirit, went into them through my asshole. So, I was at a bar, very tight, very tight, narrow walkway to get by the bar. So I was standing like this, and this guy was brushing by me, and like literally, as our asses met, I farted, and like I, it was a forceful one. So I knew I felt it, and I know he felt it. And he like he was bugged out, and I was too. Cause I'm like I feel like we're bonded. And it was like the weirdest thing. Like I feel like I possessed this man through my gas. And I was like, 
the strangest thing. Like, I, I, I'd much rather possess someone, like, after I'm dead, like, as a ghost, but nah, I just, this motherfucker's just walking with a piece of me inside of me. <laughs> my fart. <laughs> Literally, my fart. Like, he had my burrito fucking shoved up in him. Oh. Forcefully. Oh. <laughs> oh, not this burrito. <laughs> No, literally, my fart burrito. It's my ghost taking over. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful moment, actually. So fuck off. Don't judge me. Hey, thank you guys so much for your time. Have a great night. Don't forget anyone's after.